Seeing TV3 Studios. This is Acadiana's News Channel at 10. Good evening and thanks for choosing Acadia's News Channel at 10 o'clock. I'm Stephen Albritton. We begin tonight in St. Andrew Parish where approximately 101 homes have been evacuated after a Union Pacific train derailed in Lawtel. It happened just off Highway 190 around 3.30 this afternoon. Officials say 23 of the 76 cars overturned, some carrying flammable materials including lube oil and vinyl chloride. At this time, no reports of injuries. Tonight, Governor General has arrived in St. Andrew Parish to address the community affected by this accident. That press conference has just wrapped up. KTC's Chris Walty will join us with a full update a little later in the show. One of those evacuees' homes was right next to where this accident happened and made one of the first calls to 911. KTC's Akeem Ashford spoke to that resident and tells us what she saw when she stepped into her backyard. <laughs> Margaret, look, the train derailed. We heard a loud boom. I guess that's when the axles came. Uh, it, the jack came loose and then the axles came off. And then all we saw was smoke. Margaret White was enjoying dinner with a friend when the unthinkable happened right outside of her home. I called 911 as I was running toward the trailer. U.S. Highway 190 is still shut down after a train derailment in St. Landry Parish and dozens have been evacuated. Newsom's Darren Robert will have the latest from the scene. Hello, Katiana. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug McDermott, and this is the Weekend Report. We begin tonight with our top story. A train derailment in St. Landry Parish has caused the evacuation of at least 50 homes in a mile radius of it. It happened near the town of Lawtel on the train tracks just north of the westbound lane of U.S. Highway 190. Houston's Darren Robert joins us live via phone to tell us the latest. Darren. Well, good evening, Doug. We're about a mile from the accident site, and Governor Bobby Chindo just got through speaking and has confirmed that there have been several cars that are leaking. Now, that number from homes evacuated has been updated from 50 to about 101 homes evacuated. And once the area is being safe by hazmat teams, they will begin to move people back into their homes, so they do not know when that will be. He said it should take days, not weeks, however. State State Superintendent Mike Edmonds says there is industrial lube on the ground, but their biggest concern right now is the two cars with vinyl chloride inside of them, which he says are highly explosive. He says one of the high, one of the vinyl chloride cars was damaged, but not to believe to be leaking. The biggest concern right now, he says, is moving the cars because they are damaged and could be leaking or could explode when you move them. Now, the number of cars derailed has been readjusted well. They believe it's now 23 cars, with 14 cars carrying hazardous materials. Also now they're saying 55 residents have been relocated to the Delta Grand Theater in Opelousas. The rest of them have found hotels or family members. And again, they're unsure when they'll be moved back to their homes. They need to wait until the assessment is complete and they don't know when that will be. Now, a couple